A dreadfully sudden death occurred in a grocer's shop in Ballarat East this morning. Mr Samuel Bond, aged 68, a painter, carrying on business in Ballarat East, went into the shop and asked to be supplied with a loaf of bread. As the shopman, Mr E. Holman, was in the act of handing the bread across the counter, Mr Bond suddenly exclaimed, Oh gracious, collapsed and sank to the floor. Mr Holman went to his assistance and sent for Dr Champion, but before the doctor arrived, Mr Bond expired. The death has been reported to the coroner, but there are no suspicious circumstances connected with it. A terrible death came to Alfred George Phipps at Iris Estate, Wentworth Falls, when his head was drawn into the wheel of a tractor and crushed to pulp. Phipps was in a tractor, which was knocked over by another, and which somersaulted three times, landing finally with its wheels in the air. Mr Melville Morn had the misfortune to lose a valuable pony, which was being paddocked in this district. It was being driven, together with two others, from one paddock to another, when it jumped across a creek and blundered on a jagged stick, which pierced its heart, killing it almost instantly. During the past week, a hen owned by Mr J Bath brought forth a young brood, amongst which was a strange freak of nature in the shape of a chicken with four legs, all fully developed. The first pair of legs protruded from the body slightly in advance of the ordinary position, being closer to the wings, whilst the other pair were at the extreme end of the body. The little bird thrived for a few days, but the mother bird, evidently not satisfied with its appearance, attacked and killed it. The chicken was of the black Oregon variety. A man named Shennessy, employed by Mr T. Cowhill, met with a painful accident whilst driving a team of horses attached to a roller yesterday. He had the reins twisted round his hand when the horses suddenly started and Shanice's hand was pulled underneath the roller. His hand was badly mutilated, the tendons being exposed. He was brought to Dr Littlewood, who found that the wrist was broken and dislocated. At the Junction North Mine yesterday, David Morris, a married man with two children, had his limbs torn off and was instantly killed while working the machinery. A fatal accident occurred at the Alligator Creek Meatworks near Townsville today. William Hogan was engaged, oiling a portion of the carrying machine when he slipped and fell into the centrifugal. He was whirled round and before aid could be rendered, the body was jammed between the top of the centrifugal and the staging. The back of his head was then seen to be smashed in. Death must have been instantaneous. The fatal lift accident on Friday, brief particulars of which were telegraphed on that day, occurred at the rear of Halwitz's clothing factory between Lonsdale and Little Burke streets. Two youths named Bertram Hilton, age 17, and Henry Sanderman, age 15, employed on a sewerage contract at a four-storey block in which a clothing factory was carried on, made use of a lift which was reserved for sanitary purposes. The lift rope broke and a box in which the lads were standing fell a distance of 45 feet. On being removed to the hospital, Hilton was found to be suffering from severe concussion, fractured arm and other injuries and died soon after. Sandman had his right arm fractured, his waist and scalp gashed and was badly shaken. He is in a very weak state but will probably recover.